one company. A few coins has been a successful business model for half a century. Seacoast Manufacturing in Fairhope, Alabama, designs and manufactures classic coin-operated viewers that have given us up-close looks at iconic places since 1960. You put your money in, you wind it up, and you have a view. You don't uh, vend anything. You're vending a view of something that's already there. It's a simple concept, but these telescopes and binoculars are tough, built to withstand almost anything, even hurricanes. I remember a time that one had been underwater after a hurricane for two weeks. And in a matter of two hours, Dad and I cleaned it up, and it was back working. The secret to this incredible durability? Stainless steel, aluminum, and brass bodies. And a complete lack of electronics. No batteries, no wires, no power adapters. Just a simple mechanism that works like a wind-up clock. When coins are inserted, they trigger a timing mechanism that flips open a shutter. The timing mechanism holds the shutter open for a minute and a half and then flips it back over the eyepiece. What's great about these machines is that they are made to withstand the elements, you know, extreme heat, extreme cold, very little maintenance. These machines are built to last, using time-tested techniques that have changed very little in half a century. The only change since 1960 is that you have to put a, a dime in it and now you have to put 50 cents in it. The only change is change. <laughs> Today, for just two quarters, anyone can enjoy an up-close view of the natural world or the man-made one. It's a coin-operated feast for the eyes until your minute and a half is up. And when that happens, there will always be somewhere else to drop those extra coins. Because even in a world that's becoming less dependent on small change, those pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, and Lincoln dollars can always go into a piggy bank. That's just good sense. <laughs>